if you had just started this game, I'm going to show you how to unlock Knuckles in no time flat in three, two, one. And just to prove this is 100% legit, we're going to go ahead and make a brand new account. Zero followers, zero Robux, everything, okay? Now, we're going to start the game out. Level one, no pets, no nothing. No trails, no anything. So, we're going to start off first by going to redeem codes and type in the word Riders. Get ourselves a nice Sonic skin so we don't have to run around as a bacon hair. All right, there we go. Boom. That's uh, first and foremost what we got to do. Now, you're wondering why you have to grind any experience at all if you just want to unlock Knuckles. Well, actually, Knuckles is at a spot in this game that you need a little more speed and a little more jump power to get to. So you got to grind it out first, then you can go unlock him. All right, here we go. Here's what you do. You start out like this. Use the dash because it's going to help you move a little bit quicker. Just jump twice, essentially. Now, what you want to do is you want to follow this pathway all the way through. We're going to try to get enough coins so we can buy our first trail and our first chow. That's the whole goal here, folks. So, keep on running down this pathway right here. Don't worry, you're really, really slow. But listen, it's fine. Everyone's got to start somewhere. So keep on going down this way. Make sure you guys use the dash, and we'll uh, we'll keep on going here. So, just a nice little casual stroll through the through the hole there. No big deal. Get yourself some coins here. This is one of my favorite spots in the game because it's a lot of coins very early on, so it makes it go pretty fast. As you can see, when you first start out, you don't get a ton of coins for each one that you grab. And uh, let's see, your default trail just leveled up because we have a little baby one when we first start. Don't even try going over this hill because it ain't going to work. You're too dang slow. Okay, make your way down this way. Don't worry about going right. You're so slow right now that all those things have already respawned so you can go get them once again. Okay, go over this bridge, get some coins. Okay, we're almost level five. We can almost do the obby. So keep on going, keep on going. And there we go. Excellent. Now run back this way. You're going to get that ring in a little bit, the one that has 1,000 XP, but you don't have enough jump power quite yet. So keep on moving this way. And you don't have a ton of rings yet, so we're still good. Now, another thing. You can grab this group award, but you got to be making sure that you're following the Sonic Speed Simulator group to get this 1,000 coins, okay? All right. Keep making your way down this way. We're going we're gonna to do this one more time. Now, the Green Hill Lobby is available, but let's just go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to painfully watch me slowly jump through this, okay? Here we go. Now, this right here is a race. You guys can go ahead and complete this. You'll get some rings for it. Not super mandatory, but figured I'd put it in here just in case you guys want to do that. All right, now that we're back at the very, very start, let's go ahead and start this exact same process one more time, but now we're getting a little more experience, and we want to go ahead and buy our first chow or trail with the 600 coins we just got. So let's see what we get here. Perfect. A blue, doesn't matter what kind of trail it is, you just want to make sure it's equipped because it gives you more experience and rings for every step you take. All right, let's get out of here, and let's keep going. We got to grind out some more rings. So now you're going to get a lot more rings per ring because you got this trail equipped, okay? All right, let's keep going. We're going to go ahead and speed this up, so you have to watch me do the same thing again, and uh, here we go. All right, now that we're back at the start, we're going to go ahead and go this way here. There's a few more rings you can grab, and you're probably not going to be able to get this ring right here because you're so darn slow, it's not going to happen. But you're going to go through here, grab these, no big deal, and get some more XP. Perfect. Now, we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the Green Hill Obby, because you're level 5, but I mean you're a level 11, but it's all the same thing. So, complete this obby really quickly here. Just going to go ahead and... Uh, do this real fast. It shouldn't be super hard. As long as you guys are like a decent enough level, you should have enough jump to complete all this. No problem. All right. And there we go. Cool. And once you're at the end of the obby, grab this because you get a free 500 coins. Okay. Now, back to the start again. All right. Go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab these coins right here. No big deal. Go back to the start because we now have enough to go roll for some more chows or trails because you want to do that the second you get it so you can maximize your experience. Okay. We're going to go to the 300 station here, roll for one of these chows or trails, and boom, we got a yellow green chow. Nothing fancy, just enough to give us some experience. Try this again. Okay, it's a green chow. We're not going to use it because we already got the blue one. All right, now let's go and equip that pet real quick and start the process once again. <laughs> All right, we got 300 more coins. We're going to go ahead and roll this one more time, see if we can get another chow here. Come on, baby. It's all about luck. And, okay, we got some experience, so no child. Let's go ahead and speed this up again, get some more rings. Okay. All right, now you have enough experience to do the Green Hill Obby 2. Okay, here we go. Let's jump in there. I think you got to be level 15 to complete this. So, jump in here real fast. This one's pretty simple. You just got to make sure you uh, dash into these things. You're good to go. Boom. But you're going to go ahead and get some more rings for this, too, which is important for starting out. So, get your 1,000 rings and go back to Green Hill Zone. Excellent. 
Okay. Once in Green Hill Zone, you're going to go ahead and run over the bridge again. Speed this up. All right, there we go. Now we have 1,500 coins. We're going to go ahead and roll for some more chows or trails. Either one. Here we go. And boom. We got a blue square trial. That's a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and equip that. Excellent. And another blue chow. Excellent. So now we have two chows and a trail. That's exactly what you want to do. So boom. Now we got the same trail, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. But we want to equip this other chow. So now we get a lot more experience per ring and per, uh, per diamond. Okay. Let's go ahead and start this process again, and uh, here we go. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Red Ninja, why do I have to level up anything? I just want to go unlock the Knuckle skin. Right, but the area where Knuckles is requires what they call a rebirth, and in order to rebirth, you have to hit level 50 first and then go back to zero. So that's what we're doing. We're leveling up as fast as we can so we can get to that area. All right, so now that we're level 34, we can make our way over to the Lost Valley Obby, which is one of my favorite spots to grind because there's a lot more concentrated diamonds and rings, right? Okay, so make your way up here, go around this little loop-de-loop -loop because it's got enough little diamonds for you, and jump in here. Boom. Okay, now you're going to make your way past this obby. And then once you get past the obby, you're going to get into the Lost Valley, which has a lot of good stuff. So, kaboom, there we go. Excellent. Now, as I've said before, Lost Valley is actually one of my favorite spots to grind because there's so many concentrated diamonds and, and rings everywhere around this map. But there's a few pathways that you can take. There's a bunch of ways you can try. Essentially, just grind this area out as much as you can, and you'll get there in no time. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Boom. All right, now that you hit max level, you can do what they call rebirthing. So you're going to go down here to rebirth, click on rebirth, boom. It'll send you back to zero, but then you're going to get more experience and more stuff per diamond in the ring. Okay, so you're going to jump through here, go as fast as you can, just like before, same exact stuff, except you're going to be doing it a lot faster now because you're already quicker. And also, don't try to jump through this ring right now because you're not fast enough yet. Okay, so once again, we're going to go ahead and speed the video up so we can get to the spot that we need to go to. All right, here we go. Now, once you get over this bridge, instead of going left this time, we're going to go right towards the Lost Valley Obby because now we are at level 25, and we're just moments away from unlocking Knuckles. So, make your way on up here and call it a day. All right, so here we go. Lost Valley Obby, jump through this, kaboom. Now, since we've already been here once, you guys know the drill. Jump on in there, and now we got 14,000 coins, so we can go ahead and roll my favorite vending machine in the game, which is this one right here. It costs 4,000 coins to get your stuff. All right, here we go. Now, my opinion, this white electric trail is one of the best trails in the game, but for right now, we're just going to keep on going here. White Ravy's pretty good as well. And we'll roll one more time, see if we can get ourselves a Jewel Chow. Okay, no Jewel Chows this time, but we got a couple electric, which is great. So, here's the thing. Let me show you something. So, if we jump up here and look at trails, as of right now, the trail I'm using is actually giving us more XP and more rings right this very second. So, this will be a better trail later on, but for now, we're going to go ahead and keep the one that we have equipped. All right. Let's go ahead and run this way here in Lost Valley. There's a lot of awesome spots, but go ahead and just run this way here. Get yourself some good old XP and some more rings, and then we're going to go ahead and speed the video up right here. Here we go. All right. Now, once you've now hit th level 32, 35, somewhere in there, not a big deal. We're going to start making our way over to the left side of the map, which is right over here. And then you want to grab this ring because this ring's great, 3700 or 2700 experience for free. Jump into this portal right here, which is the Emerald Hill Obby. This, uh, after this spot here, this is where you're going to unlock Knuckles. Go ahead and roll a couple of these chests right here and jump over this way, jump over here. Grab this 900 XP ring, no big deal. Jump up this way. And make sure to take this kind of slow because you could fall off numerous times, which I've done before. All right, make your way into Emerald Hill. Now, once inside Emerald Hill, go right down this little pathway here. You're going to make your way up here, go onto this, and there's a grind rail. Jump on this guy, okay? Make your way down this way. This will give you enough experience right before you unlock Knuckles. It'll give you some more XP so you can make sure you can jump high enough to get him. Okay, here we go. We're going to make our way over here. So we're level 39. You could probably do it right about now. I'm going to gain a little more XP Jump up this way here. There's a nice little ring here for 2,900 again. Boom. Okay. Now we're let's get some more XP. Run down this way here, and I'll show you how to unlock them. Here we go. Okay. Grab these rings right here. We got about 4,000 of them. Not a big deal. All right. So let me show you exactly where Knuckles is. First of all, I've done this in a previous video, but for this sake, he's right up there on that platform, okay? In my previous video, I jumped up there, then jumped up there. A lot of people didn't have that jumping power, so I'm going to show you the other way to do it, which is you go this way. Okay, there's a there's a little bounce pad to your uh, right across the way there. Okay, you need to get enough speed to hit this. And if you're level 35 to 40, you should have enough speed to do it. Just jump up here, dash into it, 
and that'll put you on this platform right here, okay? Grab these rings, and then you should have enough power too. You're gonna jump across there to the other side, and whoop, there we go, excellent. And then make one more jump over there, and there we go. Run through the loop-de-loop -loop or don't, and then dash through there, get some XP, and shaboom! There you go, everybody. There is your knuckle skin. I apologize in my last video if I didn't make that clear enough on where to go if you guys were a lower level. But anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys so very much, and I will see you in the next video.